You're listening to the Fort Erie Podcast, your local source for upcoming events, hot new listings, and bite-sized interviews with business and community leaders. Here's your host, Brent Jones. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Fort Erie Podcast. It is Tuesday, November the 26th. You're listening to Season 1, Episode 8 of the podcast. I'm your host, Brent Jones, and today I'm going to be chatting with Mark Poisson, co-owner and operator of the Bell Tower and Subculture in Bridgeburg. It's going to be a lot of fun. But uh, before we get to the interview, before I touch on some hot new real estate listings of the week, let me ask you this, dear listener, what have you been up to lately? No, I'm serious. I want to know. I want you to tell me what have you been up to? What's new and exciting? Just a quick reminder that you can have a conversation with me anytime you'd like. I'd love that. You can access the show notes below this episode. Visit thefortyeriepodcast.com. Access the show notes below episode number eight, and you'll find a section for comments using your Facebook account, your existing Facebook account. You can leave me a comment, and I'll be sure to respond to you. So please tell me what you've been up to lately, because <laughs> I'm about to tell you what I've been up to. This past Saturday, I attended the fundraiser dinner for Fort Erie Community Living at the Fort Erie Leisure Plex. I mentioned it, of course, last week on the podcast. Uh, in the community events section. Christmas in France was the theme. We had some good food, some great entertainment, but you know, most of all, it was just great to see how many people from our community came out uh, to support such a noteworthy cause. So let's touch on this. Let's let's get to my real estate picks of the week. There were two new listings that I want to highlight. And the first one is 659 Buffalo Road in Fort Erie. This property is listed by my colleague and team leader, Ray Rosatani, uh, Remax Niagara Realty. This home features three, possibly four bedrooms, uh, two bathrooms, and it's almost 1,500 square feet. It's got an attached two-car garage. Uh, sliding doors to the private rear yard, and the lot is almost 150 feet deep. Actually, I think it's exactly 150 feet deep. Uh, this home's got two kitchens, so there's the possibility for an in-law suite here, fully finished basement, uh, recently remodeled bathroom, um, uh, uh, updates to the windows, replacement windows, and this home is available for immediate possession. And the second listing I want to touch on is 335 Louisa Street. Uh, this is listed by Barb Scarlett from Century 21 today, Realty. This is a four-bedroom home with uh, three bathrooms, a raised ranch bungalow-style home, attached double garage. It's got two sheds in the fenced-in rear yard. The home is only 18 years young, so fairly new. It's got a fully finished basement, total living space about 1,700 square feet. There's even a natural gas fireplace. The shingles, the furnace, and the central air were all upgraded in the past two years. You can learn more about either of these listings by checking out the show notes below this episode. Now let me ask you, are you thinking of selling your home? Are you curious even to know what your home is worth? A lot of times people think at this time of year, you know, real estate is dead. People don't buy homes, people don't sell homes. Let me tell you, December, coming up on December, this is gonna be one of my busiest months of the entire year so far. I have a whole host of transactions set to close this month. It's really just a total myth that homes don't sell at this time of year. They absolutely do. And if you're curious to know what your home might sell for, give me a call, 905-626-8826. I'm going to pause here for just one second and I'll be right back with you to chat with Mark. All right, welcome back, folks. I am sitting here in the Bell Tower with Marc Poisson, co-owner, co-operator, not just here, but also across the street as subculture. Marc, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you for inviting us. Oh, I'm so glad, I'm so <laughs> glad you're here with me. This is great. So, first question I'd like to ask all of my guests, uh, what in your opinion makes Fort Erie such a great place to live and work? What it is, it's, it's the potential that it, this town has mm -hmm. and the history that this town has. Yeah. I'm from a small town and I've worked in Toronto now for 39 years. Mm -hmm. And if somebody would have told me that at 53 years old, I'd be back in a small town. <laughs> um, and not just back, but enjoying and seeing the potential of what this town has. Sure, sure. And the amazing people in this town right. and, and just the history and yeah. what we can all do together in a small town, in a small community yeah. to make things different and better. 
Well, let, let's talk. Let's talk about that a bit because I feel like you're doing a lot in a short period of time to make things better. Um, tell us about the bell tower. I mean, you, I know you and I talked about <laughs> it a little bit one time, but I mean, how did this happen? Where you're like, hey, let's move to Fort Erie and well, buy a church. It started as a joke. Okay. <laughs> um, basically, three and a half years ago, a friend of ours is a. a a mutual friend of yours, yes. real yeah. estate agent, Chris Peducci, um, had shown the place and um, showed it to us, and we got intrigued. We came and looked at it. Three weeks later, we basically went to our bank, sold everything we had, and bought the building. That you're all in. <laughs> all in. That's all awesome. In. And, yeah. and you've got, of course, Quasi's Cafe down here. Quasi's yeah. downstairs, yeah. which is our bar open. Um, we're open six days a week. Okay. From 11 to uh, 9, Monday to Thursday, Friday, 11 to 2 uh, a.m. Uh -huh. and Saturdays from 5 until midnight. If we have special events, we still open later. And I feel like there's a little bit of something for everybody here. There is, there is. Like and you've, you've got, you've got... Uh, children's karaoke, you've got drag shows, you've got big concerts, you've got everything happening here. And the most important part, I think, it's not just that. We, uh, we give you a safe space. It doesn't matter what gender you are, um, male, female, transgender, whatever, you are going to be welcome here right, and right. respected. And we're going to make sure that you have an amazing time. Right. No matter if you want to come here, read a book, have a good glass of wine, right. or have some food, right. or come in and watch one of our shows. Well, let's talk about the, the food, because we really have food here and yeah. food of subculture <laughs> to talk about. But somebody coming into Quasi's Cafe say they want to grab something to eat. What, in your opinion, is the best thing on the menu? What should they try? The best thing on our menu is that um, we do a amazing fresh basil chicken pasta uh -huh. penne which is made to order uh, you get in about five seven minutes right um, our um, clubhouse is made on homemade fresh bread oh, cool yeah. no preservative it's yeah. real turkey that we cook that we slice everything yeah. Yeah. we have daily soups um, homemade dips mm -hmm. it's a simple menu mm -hmm. nothing deep fried we try to keep it a bit more natural and healthier but, well, it's, it's, you know, it's such a big step that you came, you know, developed the bell tower into what it is. And now you guys just acquired subculture. <laughs> What's that all about? Well, subculture was here for the past almost three years. Right. It was an amazing established business. Bob, mm -hmm. who owned it, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. did an incredible job. Yeah. Um, but he couldn't do it alone. Right. And he got burnt out. Right. We didn't want to see another amazing business in Fort Erie to go under. That's awesome. And the timing just happened to be at the right time, right place. And we decided, okay, let's look at it. The numbers made sense. Yeah. The, um, the business made sense. It's an established business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sure. now we're open six days a week, uh -huh. 11 to 7 guaranteed. Uh -huh. uh, we're actually looking to expand our work hours uh, to seven days a week, yeah. 11 to 7. Uh -huh. And in the next month, month and a half, once we know how things are going, Fridays and Thursdays, we're hoping to open till 2 or 2.30 in the morning. Wow, that'd be really cool. Eh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, here's one of my favorite things to do with guests. I want to include sort of a rapid fire question round. All sure. right. So questions will come at you quick. We'll take about 60 seconds. First answer that pops in your head. Let it out. All right. <laughs> Watch out. Now, here's your chance to get the no mark a little better. <laughs> All right. Um, if not this, what would be your dream job? It's funny. I've been a hairdresser for almost 40 years. Yeah. If somebody would tell me that here I am owning a bar, owning a sub shop, mm -hmm. I would say you're crazy. I am having the time of my you're life. You're doing it. This is doing the dream it job. All. Plan A. Yes. I love it. Are you a morning or a night person? Um, in this type of business, you have to be every type. Sure. Uh, morning, night, day, whatever, you just make it do. All day person. Yes. Uh, what is your favorite hobby? My favorite hobby is riding my motorcycle. Uh -huh. I have an 1100 Shadow wow. and uh, my big beast and yeah. my partner has one too. And that's our way on Sundays. We Keep live for Sundays. We yep. go on it and go for a nice ride. Awesome. Awesome. What? Uh, strangest thing you've ever eaten? Oh, that fish that's deadly, that if it's not cooked properly. Oh, like the puffer it's, fish? Yeah, or? it's going to kill you. Yeah, I yeah. can't remember what it's called. <laughs> I, it was a dare, and I, I was so sick after it, and it was not it tasted bad. It was my mind. It's, <laughs> no. Well, you're still here, at least. Yep. That's good. Uh, what's your favorite thing about yourself? I'm a genuine person. If I got something to say, I will say it. Mm -hmm. If uh, you don't have to worry about hearing it from somebody else, you'll hear it directly from me. That's the way it should be. Uh, what's one of your weird quirks that might surprise people? Um, I'm, I'm a perfectionist. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, I, things, it takes me a while, but things got to be done my way. Don't mm -hmm. tell me how you're doing it. Yeah. I'll figure it out my right. way. Right. Show it to me, but then I'll figure it out my way. Don't tell me it's wrong. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Describe yourself in three words and perfectionist three words. doesn't count. 
um, caring, loving, uh, um, uh, love life to yeah. the fullest. Okay. All right. Well, let, let's wrap up with this, Mark, because um, sure. for those of you listening, there's going to be uh, links in the show notes just below this episode where you can check out everything going on at the Bell Tower and at Subculture. But uh, the question I want to leave you with, Mark, is um, what's what do you think is next for Jarvis Street? Five to ten years from now, what do you think is, is what, what's, what's the face of Jarvis Street going to look like? In my mind, and with yeah. a lot of the businesses that are there already that yeah. have been surviving, yeah. we need 10 to 20 more restaurants. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We need 10 other bars. Mm-hmm. We need diverse kind of businesses. Mm-hmm. So there's a reason to come to Jarvis. Yeah. There's no reason why at 6 o'clock at night, there's mm-hmm. no vehicle on our street. Right. There needs right. to be an excitement, a reason to come down. Right. And there is no reason why we cannot have what, um, what um, Ridgeway, Ridgeway yeah. and Crystal Beach is yeah. having. Mm-hmm. I don't want us to become Niagara on the Lake. Right. We need right. to keep our small town spirit. But Ridgeway, they have done an incredible job. The potential is all here but we all need to support it. I I 100% agree. That's awesome. Thank you, Mark, for being on the show. I really appreciate it. My pleasure, and keep the good work. You're doing an amazing job. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Um, Hey, great conversation with Mark, wasn't it? I recommend uh, make your way down to the Bell Tower. Make your way down to Subculture. Support a couple of great entrepreneurs in uh, in Bridgeburg. Now, let's wrap up this episode with community events. Here's what's coming up for the next seven days or so. Tomorrow, that's Wednesday, November the 27th, join my team, the Rosatani Real Estate Group at Greater Fort Erie Secondary School for the Fort Erie Blood Drive. A hundred more donors needed before this holiday season. Uh, what else is coming up? Thursday, November the 28th, we've got a miracle on Jarvis Street. So this is a recurring event, as some of you know, 4 p.m. until 8 p.m. Uh, at Regional Limousine on Jarvis Street, a craft and vendor fair leading up to the holidays. Uh, also happening Thursday, November the 28th at 7.30 p.m., Deck the Stage, a play by Lindsay Price at St. Paul's Anglican Church. Um, and uh, let me, i just taking a look here. It looks to me like this is uh, recurring. There are several dates here. The first one is Thursday, November the 28th at 7.30 p.m. A Christmas collection of eight short festive plays sure to get you in the holiday spirit. Tickets are by donation at the venue. Okay, and coming up on November the 29th, that is Friday, we've got Big John at Big Texas. So Big Texas Family Restaurant hosting Big John, T-Bone Little, and Friends. Come out for some live music starting at 7 o'clock p.m. Uh, on November the 30th, which is Saturday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., Gilmore Lodge is hosting a Christmas bazaar uh, featuring crafts, baked goods, a 50-50 draw. Mistletoe Cafe will be open from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. for lunch, and all proceeds support residents of Gilmore Lodge. Uh, I believe also, yes, also on Saturday, November 30th, uh, I'm going to expose my ignorance here a little bit. Nova at Border Town Pro. I didn't know what that was. I had to check. Apparently, there was live professional wrestling happening at the Fort Erie Native Friendship Center. I don't know whether I've just been living under a rock or like if this is something that happens all the time. If this is something new, I've got no idea. But if you're into, I mean, pro wrestling, come out from 6 to 10 p.m. Saturday, November 30th, Fort Erie Native Friendship Center. Um, and then let's see, also on Saturday, November 30th, uh, from 10 a.m. till 7 p.m., the Southern Ontario Western New York Paranormal Conference is taking place at the Bell Tower. So head on down, say hi to Mark, and uh, take part in a paranormal conference, 10 a.m. until 7 p.m. And last event I'll touch on here is just aptly called Crafternoon, happening on Monday, December the 2nd. Uh, this is an afternoon craft, as the name suggests, starting at 1 p.m. at the Crystal Ridge branch of Fort Erie Public Library. So that concludes events coming up for the next week. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Fort Erie Podcast. As always, tell a friend, share on social media. Next week, my guest will be Sean Fleming, adult services librarian from Fort Erie Public Library. Until then, folks, have an awesome week. You've been listening to the Fort Erie Podcast with your host, Brent Jones, a sales representative with Remax Niagara Realty Limited Brokerage. Follow at Buy with Brent on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for updates. Subscribe to the Fort Erie Podcast on popular platforms like Apple Podcasts and Spotify and catch a new bite-sized episode every week. 
Until next time.